All right, what's up, everyone? Um, it's another day. So I'm in the next phase of putting this amp in, in the Fusion. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what I got as far as the setup for the day. So I'm going to show y'all. So like I was telling y'all in the last video, I'll be doing the RJ6 cable for the RCAs, which is a quad, quad uh, RG6. So double insulated, so you won't get the you know the engine sounds and stuff and road noise. Um, of course, secondly, we got the uh, high level converters with the uh, remote turn ons in it. So since we're doing four channels, we need two of them, and that's I wouldn't say not too much it, but the third thing is. These RCA adapters, which I'm gonna throw in. So later on, when I do a, a DSP, I probably do an Alpine DSP, which is you know a digital sound processor. So go ahead and put that in for future reference. So other than that, let's go ahead and hop in this video. All right, y'all. So I put the RCAs in, tighten up a little bit of stuff. So. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take all the panels off on the passenger side, how like I did on the driver's side in, the, uh, in my first video when I was putting the, uh, the amp wires in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what, uh, what the RCA looks like from the trunk. All right, so that's how the RCAs look in the trunk. I'm gonna show you where you can uh, access it for the panel. So let's go ahead and jump aside. All right, so I had to take the side panel back off to run the regular speaker wire back through. Because at first I had it running straight through here. So I ended up bringing it on the side, as you see, along the RCEs on that panel. So pretty much gonna run it through here. Again, like how I did the other side with the battery wire is it? I'm gonna the styrofoam to the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this back up. Then we're gonna be running it to the floor. And also, like I was saying, you know, it's just four clips. I take this side panel off. One, two, three, four. Pretty much one right here, one right there, one right there. And another one at the bottom down here. So just pretty much just pull it and it pop off. All right, so we have front, we have passenger side of that front seat. Pretty much, I don't know if y'all can see it. We ran the wires underneath it here. Front the up. Check that underneath it is that support beam. Oh, yep. Footwheel panels at pretty much drag across there behind the radio. All right, so another quick glimpse of the back seat. All right, then all the panels are put back together. So I put the seat back on. So look, got the amp around it. The wires right up front for the RCAs, the speaker wire. That's my battery wire, the distribution block. Got the uh, remote wire right in the back. So let's go ahead and slam the seat back in. Alright, so I'll just tighten up the wires. Um, pretty much 
pretty much and zip tie them all together with the factory ones. the wires that I got put behind the dash and the radio so let's go ahead and get prepared to yank the radio out and uh get the tying in So, it looks like we have to remove these two screws that's down here. It looks like a eight millimeter. So I'm gonna grab an eight millimeter and come back and uh, unbolt those. The seven millimeter. So it looks like we have one right here, one right there. I don't know. Uh, no, I think I got two, two top tops. So. Let's go ahead and pop these out. This one. Use those two screws. Let's hold it in. 
course, six tabs. Or four tabs, I'm sorry. So, go ahead. Hmm. Is that AC connectors. Right. Get that out the way the controls. Um all right, so what we're gonna put our high level converters in to is the radio, in fact the radio, which is this. Um you don't have to worry about the screen. The screen can stay where it's at. So let's go ahead and remove this. Get our speaker wires. That's pretty much it. It's the factory radio. Let's set that back. Alright, so the wires we're gonna look for is in this harness. Two screws on the air. Back behind here, up to the floor, back behind here, and uh, try to fish it through in between there. So that way it'd be behind here. So let's go ahead and try to fish it through and see what we get. Alright, so I found the way how to get it in. If you bring it up through there, um, come back here behind the glove apartment and the red. Behind that chassis, right here for the speaker wire. So we go ahead and uh, try to route this RG6 coaxial behind there, and uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and tie the stuff in. All right, guys. I got the amp soldered in for the speakers. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I noticed that it had like a, I guess a grounding wire here. I'm gonna tape back up with it and wrap it with this aluminum. I had to take off. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So next step is to wire in our converter. Well, both our converters. And uh, pretty much we'll be sound testing. All right, y'all. So I got the speaker wire tester taped up. Going back behind the glove apartment. Back to the amp, so go ahead and put these together. Uh, the speaker wires, I'm gonna leave the, the color code diagram in the description just in case y'all need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this up. All right, so this is the inline current I'm gonna use the Metra LLC1, which is two of them. So one is for the rear, and the other one's for the front. Uh, we have a blue wire, which is from both of them, which is an amp turn on. So I kind of put put them together so the amp can always stay on, whether you fade it from the front to the back, wherever you want to fade it at. These two wires right here, it goes to the constant hat on the ground and the constant positive. So we can go ahead and hook that up. All right, so we got to convert it in. Spliced into the harness. Now these ends right here is for a feature later on. When I add a uh, DSP to the system, all I gotta do is swap the RCAs out of here into here. And it'll be pretty much rolling. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Last thing I need to hook up on here. Last thing I need to hook up on here is my um, amp turn on. And that'd be it. All right, so cleaned it up a little bit more. That's how it looks. This is the factory harness that goes into the radio. So plug it in. Like I said, just for the DSP. I'm gonna get one. So now we're using these, the inline converters. So yep, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead, splice these up, put the uh, put my ends on them, the RCA ends, and we'll be rocking. All right, everybody, time to put everything back, put the radio up. Connect the battery. Time to the sound test. Nah, y'all. So got the amp hooked up to the battery. Like that. I was gonna use the, uh, the Metro battery terminal that they sent to me, but I just went on and put another end on it. Battery like that, just to tape it to the circuit breaker. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to amp and um, show you how I put everything back. So, yeah, everything still work. Of course, all my time still work. The factory jump. You know, it was a little bit louder than what it was with the amp. Of course, we got the radio. I'm gonna give it a minute for the sound like to start up on it. But yeah, that's how it is. We'll play some music, but you no, know, YouTube got this dang on copyright infringement. So that, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out in the back. Let me 
give y'all a better look. The Alpine Full Channel. So, yeah, she sounded good. Doing good. So, other than that, hit that like button. Subscribe. And I'll holler back at y'all.